Hey guys, my name is Samim Supreme and in today's short video, we're gonna cover the drop locations for the second week of Intel missions in Call of Duty Warzone. I recommend that you queue up for solos or plunder right now and then watch the video in between the wait time if you want it to be more efficient. But however you decide to do it is totally up to you. I think getting most of these done in solos is gonna be a little easier, but once again, this is your decision to make. Our first piece of intel is located in the Russian pool building located right under the storage tower on the second floor. Once you drop down, make your way towards the three doors by the pool and enter the middle one. Head all the way up, make a right and there it is. Interact with the broken file cabinet and you're done with the first piece of intel. Now unfortunately we can't do the whole intel mission in one game so you're going to have to either leave the game or finish it. Either way, the progress is saved and whenever you start the next game, you're going to be set for part 2. Our second piece of intel is located in the airport to the right of the crashed airplane in the L-shaped building. Once you drop, it's very easy to spot a desk with a laptop and 3 case files on it. Interact with it and you're good to go. Drop number 3 is located in the bunker on the left side of the map, somewhere between the boneyard and the storage town. Once you drop down, look for the bunker number 3 and head straight underground. Once you pass the stairs on the left side, you will see a laptop with some other equipment on the desk. Interact with it and part 3 is done. Now, drop number 4 is in the same location as the drop number 3. The only difference is that this time you're going to need the spotter perk equipped prior to getting the intel. With that being said, I highly recommend getting this one done in plunder mode simply because you can spawn with your perks right away by picking an appropriate loadout. However, be ready to fight for it. Our fifth drop location is downtown. It's located on the ground level of the L-shaped building to the right of the canal above the bridge. It's a bit hard to describe this, but if you mark this exact location on your map, you'll find yourself exactly where you should be. Once you enter the building, look for a whiteboard with some sticky notes and colorful magnets. Interact with it and part 5 is done. Our final drop location is on the ground level of the train station. Head exactly where I marked it on the map and you will see a big train schedule board that you gotta interact with and you'll be officially done with the intel mission for week 2. Once you've completed the final drop, you will see the mission is complete, but the 7th objective is asking you to learn the status of the 7.30pm express train. Now, I actually speak Russian fluently, and based on what I see, it says the following for the 7.30pm train. Train number is 134, type express, Status cancelled and platform number 4. Based on this intel, we know for sure that Zakayev never got on that train. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more quality Warzone content, subscribe to the channel. For a small YouTuber like myself, this helps out a lot. Oh and by the way, to all my PC players out there, I will be making a PC optimization video for Warzone particularly. I've spent days if not weeks perfecting my game performance which I'm now finally super happy about. And I can't wait to share this with you guys. Hit the notification bell if you don't want to miss it and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later!